Hey guys, welcome to question FM 233 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. This question reads, the matrix below shows the result of each match between four players, M, N, O, and P in a tennis tournament. And then we're given this matrix here. Each player in the tournament was ranked according to the sum of their one-step and two-step dominance. The player with the highest sum was ranked number one, the player with the second highest sum was ranked number two, and so on. Using this method, player M was ranked number one. M would have tied for first place with two other players if the winner of one match had lost instead. This match was between players, and then we're given five different uh, potential matches that could have gone another way, and whether that would have resulted in a difference. So, first, uh, what I'm going to go through is just how the initial score was calculated and what those scores were because that might give us a better chance at an educated guess uh, of what this answer might be or who would have had to lose instead of win and vice versa in order for the, uh, the scores to have three people tie for first place. So in order to calculate uh, their scores, we'll call it, uh, or their, their sums, we're going to need to take our original matrix here uh, and square it. So when we square a dominance matrix, we're also given uh, their two-step dominance, so a person's two-step dominance as well. So if we were to take this, uh, this dominance matrix and square that, then we would get this matrix here, which also shows the two-step dominances of uh, each player. Going off of this, M is going to have a total score of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. N is going to have a total score of 1, 2. O will have a total score of 1, 2, 3, 4. And P, terrible P, but P will have a final score of 1, 2, 3. Now it's quite possible uh, for you to go through each of the scenarios, change around this initial matrix, look at the squared value and then add them up like we've just done here. Uh, quite easy to do using a CAS calculator. But I'm gonna take you through uh, the correct answer rather than go through all of them to show you how you would look at each of them. Uh, and it's in a way you can make an educated guess that this is the correct answer without having to trial uh, each of the different scenarios. So looking here, we can see that M has a top score of five, uh, o, o is right behind, and P is down the bottom with a score of three. So given that N has a, uh, a value of two there, we're almost going to assume that uh, these top three are the three that are gonna come together. So either M has to lose to somebody, uh, or N has to lose to somebody. So if M loses to somebody, maybe he gets brought down to these guys' score. But if N loses to somebody, maybe these guys get brought up. Uh, and of course, if N loses as well, then M could lose some of its two-step dominance. So having a look at the initial scenario, we can see that N lost to P. Now, if P was to win an extra game, that actually steps up uh, its one its one step dominances, keeps its two step dominances about the same, but reduces uh, M's two step dominance. So the game between N and P that has changed is the one that we're looking at here. So our initial dominance matrix, if N was to, so N obviously won against P, so this is the winning side, N wins against P, we're gonna look at what would happen if P instead won against N. So first of all, just filling in our matrix, everything's gonna be quite similar except for this point here and one up here, which I'm gonna leave blank for now just to show you what's going on. But I'm gonna fill in my matrix mostly the same as it was filled in before. Now, in these two values where we had a one here and a zero down here, so a one in the second row, uh, fourth column, and a zero in the fourth row, second column, we're gonna flip those two guys around. So now my zero is gonna be up here, and my one's down there. This is telling me now that P won against N, and N lost against P. Awesome. Now, plugging this into 
a calculator, we're going to get this matrix, which is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So this was our initial matrix. If we square this, we get the two-step dominance matrix. Now, tallying up all of our scores, M has a one and two-step dominance of four. N has a one and two-step dominance of zero. O has a one and two-step dominance of four. And P has a one and two-step dominance of four. This here shows that B is our correct answer. If it isn't easily uh, apparent to you that it, this could be the answer from the get-go, so looking at uh, P and N and thinking, hey, if they went the other way, then maybe that would work, you can just go through this process uh, with each of the situations that you're given and use trial and error. Look for the one that ends up giving you three people tying for first place. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.